classes uh, for internet issue. Um, uh, the, 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 the lessons or the meetings that we have is being recorded. Okay, so we have a, a, a question there. Uh, is internet connection an issue or is it an excuse absence? It is not an excuse absent um, unless, unless, unless I will have, I can verify that problem. Uh, one thing that is sure at this time, um, let's say 98% of houses in Oman have connections to the internet. Okay, who are those 2%? Those 2% are those who registered, which is really from the mountains uh, and maybe really a remote area. So we, we at Chiu Tech, or even in Hul Oman, all the universities, schools and institutions, even the schools, the private schools, uh, we already agreed that most of the students have connection okay so that is not a big issue now it might be an issue six months ago when we have this in march uh, but of course people learned and people ask or people uh, go for that connection okay just give me a minute Okay, so internet connection uh, is not really an excuse absence, but we have to check that validity. How, how, how will I check that one? There is one thing that you can send message. Uh, let's say you have tried the connection. I will see you here. Okay, I will see you here and then you will lose connection. Okay, that time I will see from the lag of the attendance here at MS Teams, for example, what time you came and what time you left. Okay, so I will see that five minutes, ten minutes, and I will ask you later on, why did you leave after five minutes? Why did you leave after ten minutes? What happened? Okay, I will also see if you left and then you come back, okay, or you came back uh, for some time, let's say 10 minutes, okay, so there's a possibility that you just lost a connection or your signal is fluctuating. So something like this, from the attendance, there is a lag of when you came and when you uh, come back. Oh yeah, when you came back, uh, when you left and when you came back. I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, morning. Um, just to give you a background, I'm really not a morning person. Uh, for the past 40 years, uh, or even 41 years, not 40, okay. Uh, let's remove the child, the childhood. May, maybe for the past 25 years or less than 30 years. I've been sleeping late. I mean, I'm a, I'm a night owl, as they said. Uh, so that means I'm awake at night and I'm asleep at day. So the when I was working, of course, if I'm working and I have a class from eight 
I don't have a choice. If I slept at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., I still have to wake up in the morning very early. I have to beat those clock. Now, I'm just telling you, uh, sorry, 8.16. <laughs> I thought I just have uh, uh, five minutes, a uh, little bit of a uh, no, small talk before we start. Anyway, I'll finish my story. Um, I'm really not a morning person, but lately I changed. Uh, I'm now waking up at 6 or even earlier. Uh, it was 5.45 that I woke up earlier uh, because I have an 8 o'clock class. So Orban, why too early? Uh, we are having online class, so even if you wake up uh, 10 minutes before the class, it's fine. Uh, and I live only here at the university, I mean, behind the university. Uh, I'm just here five, uh, maybe maybe one kilometer away from the university. Okay, so having said that, I changed uh, starting August 28th. Okay, so I have a exact date when I changed that. I have to start sleeping before at 10 a.m. At uh, 10 p.m. Sorry, that time. So I started that. So it's just because if you will say uh, I will do this tomorrow or next week, I will start changing my habits, even the diet, the foods, and so on and so forth. I will not eat anymore junk foods or chips and so on and so forth. It's really difficult. So once you decide it, do it and uh, maintain or be strong. So that's what you need to do. So I'm saying also, you can do it. If you're not a morning person, so if I can do it, you can do it also. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, start the class okay the first topic you've seen this on your course specification we'll try to discuss what is apps and what is application when you say apps and application what is this of course it's very easy you already know this because you are a tech guys or tech dudes as we say i mean when we say your generation you are on the maybe uh Teens, I mean, late teenagers, okay, so 17, 18, maybe maximum, maybe you have, you are on the 16 years old. So let's, uh, uh, for sure, nobody here is going to claim or going to tell me it, that they don't have a smartphone or a mobile phone, okay? So this makes our lives easier. Why? Because you already know what app is. App Store, Google Store, or Play Store, sorry, and so on and so forth. You go there, find an app, download, okay? Once downloaded, click the app. If needs registration, register. Bam, you can use it. Games, uh, whatever, sleeping apps. <laughs> I thought of sleeping up because before I was I downloaded it, I tried to use it, but it didn't work for me. Just that you just need meditation. Okay, meditation means concentration on so that you can sleep. Okay, and uh, remove those worries and anxieties. Going back to the issue or our topic, application. When you say application, these are softwares. Let's go here. Uh, objective, sorry, describe the difference between apps and application, identify various types of application software, the task for which they are suited, understand and use web apps, use an app store to browse and find apps, install, delete, and recover apps. Install, delete, and recover apps, okay. Describe, describe sorry, the strengths and weaknesses of apps and applications. Okay, applications are complex programs designed to be used with a mouse and keyboard. They require a fair amount of system resources and they perform a wide range of functions. Programs, software, 
Okay, so for those who are eyeing to go for a computer soft, uh, computer science major, gonna deal with this a lot, okay? Because your role uh, later on, you're not a programming programmer per se, but you are. Your that's one of your skills that you have to have uh, if you're a computer scientist, okay? So when you say programs, these are written algorithms on computer. When you say algorithms, commands, okay? So those are the things that you will hear if you're a computer science. Commands, algorithms. So you were asking your computer to do a uh, particular task, okay? So that's what application is, okay? A software. Software or applications are the same. Uh, they do a particular task designed to be used with the mouse and keyboard. Okay, apps are small and lightweight. They are designed to be used on touch screen. So that's just the difference. But anyway, it's the same. I mean, it's just a matter of removing how many letters? L-I-C-A-T-I-O-N-S, applications. App, apps, okay. So you remove, uh, no, no, L-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. You remove that. Uh, and then you made it apps. They made it apps, okay? When when was this? 2010, maybe? 2008? Uh, somewhere here, they already coined the word, okay, let's call this apps. Why? We have smartphones. There are softwares there or applications there. Let's call it apps. It's easier. We don't have to speak four syllables. Syllables, applications. Let's just call it apps, okay? But anyway, as time goes by, they made it formal. We call this when it for mobile phones, smartphones, iPads, tablets, we call it apps. But if it is a software installed on a laptop or a desktop or even a server computer, we call it application. But there is really no big difference, okay? So Unless in the uh, in mobile phone, most of the apps don't have complex uh, function. When you say complex function, uh, if you try to install a Microsoft Word on a on a mobile phone, just visualize this. Okay, Microsoft Word. Uh, the functionalities of the Microsoft Word, the full. Maybe you can install a Microsoft Word with like at an up to 20% functionalities. You make, can type words, uh, prepare document, you can make it bold, italize, and so on, indentation, and so on. That's fine. But the others, you cannot install using a mobile phone. That's going to be the difference, okay? The functionalities, the complexities. That's why the apps are just very, very simple tasks. For example, you download the, uh, uh, what kind of app will I, uh, of course, games. When you download the game there, this is an app, not the web-based game, uh, or or we call it R, RPG, the whole thing. I'm not a gamer, that's why. So download it there. Okay, uh, download, it, download it there and then that's it. That's just what it will do. Okay, so uh, games there, click and then play. Alas. Okay, unlike the application programs that we're going to have to be tested in IC3, you need really some complex functions, okay, to be able to use it, or that's the function, or that's the main uh, purpose, why do you have this application programs? Programs, applications, uh, they're being interchangeably used, those terms, applications, programs, application programs, software, there's nothing wrong there, whatever terms you use, okay? Application programs, application or programs, or software, 
or even apps. You can even call anything right now that is uh, working on a computer, a software, an app. That's, that's fine. Okay, it is important to select the appropriate software program for the task at hand. So as I said earlier, you have a particular task. You need to have that function. You have to select what software you're going to use. As simple as that. Okay, you need to prepare a document, Microsoft Word. You need to prepare a presentation, Microsoft Word. Oh, yes, you can use Microsoft Word, but of course, a presentation, you must use PowerPoint, must. You can use Word, but you must use PowerPoint, okay? So, I'm just joking. Many programs share a number of features. Look closely at what you want to accomplish. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so you have to be wisely, or you have to be wise in choosing your applications. Okay, but it also depends on the availability. Okay, there are issues of uh, license. Okay, of course, uh, a lot of people know how to crack uh, licenses. Um, and that's not uh legal of course there's a legal impediment when you say you want to crack software that's not allowed that's not uh, uh recommended to be used or to, to be done okay uh, we don't recommend that you crack licenses okay but you're a big uh, adult person so that's your choice okay Okay, word processing, prepare documents, edit some words, even uh, uh, even some like this newsletter or brochure you can do in Microsoft Word. But when you say uh, when you go on a, an advanced uh, document or layouting, there are some more softwares that is better to be used. Okay, you can use a Microsoft Word in brochures, posters even um yeah it's it's even uh, written here even web pages okay flyers brochures but there are softwares that are available that can be used with more uh with, with more features and functionalities so what i'm saying is that i'm just trying to point out that when you have an application program or when you choose an application program or a software uh, it depends on the functions or what you need to accomplish. For example, me, I just want to have a small layout with a picture here and some wordings. Then I can use Word, as simple as that. Why will I need to use uh, complex software? So, for example, Adobe InDesign, um, Publisher. Okay, so I'm I can use that, but uh, you know, if it is just a very simple layout. I don't need to use those software. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. That's my point. Uh, desktop publishing, as we said before, I uh, was saying brochures and so on and so forth. Then you can use desktop publishing if you want some more detailed or more functionalities on making books or magazines, uh, brochures, and so on. So we have desktop publishing, like uh, as I said, Microsoft Publisher, Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. You can use also, but Photoshop is not for that. Photoshop is for editing uh, pictures, images, and even video. Okay, but images more on images. Um, but if you want, as I said, desktop publishing, you can use the InDesign. In I N dash design. Okay, so spreadsheets, Microsoft Excel. What can you do here? Put data, numbers, compute, uh, analyze, uh, create graphs, and so on and so forth. Okay, there are a lot of things that you can do in Excel. As a matter of fact, I'm a teacher, I'm the lecturer for advanced Excel at GU Tech in the bachelor. So after your foundation program, we might see each other next year when you choose life skills course. Uh, there are life skills courses available with, for you 
you're given six life skills courses. One is, uh, oh no, three courses from there is our Germans, one German language, one, two, three. Uh, and then you have, I said six. So mandatory are three German courses plus entrepreneurship. Then you have two uh, more life skills course that you need to choose. It's like a soft skills elective. It's not a major elective because there are major electives in computer science, engineering, and JO, LTS, uh, IBSM, logistics, and so on. Okay? UPAD, sorry. Uh, so you have two. You can choose whatever you want. So, for example, it is offered on your first year, first semester, advanced Excel, Photoshop, uh, photography, uh, meteorology, so whatever. From those choices only you can choose. Uh, I'm one of your choice, okay? Advanced Excel. Okay, uh, graphic design and image editing. Sorry, I have to cut. Okay, let me continue. Graphic design and image editing, Photoshop, Microsoft Paint, uh, no, 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 not Microsoft Paint. On your windows, there's Paint. Uh, yes, that's okay. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's it. I mean, Paint uh, will do nothing. It's just, you can just write something, make it bigger, rotate, and so on. But uh, if you really need a very good graphic design. By the way, one of the life skills courses, Adobe Photoshop in, again, Bachelor. Okay, web development, uh, we have uh, HTML, okay, hypertext markup language. What you're seeing right now is hypertext markup language, markup language, okay, so to develop uh, a web. But, uh, of course, there are now a lot of softwares on ways on how to have a web or a web page. Uh, web page creator, okay, that you go there and you download the software with registration and that's it. You can just click and drag on those elements and you have the uh, web web page. But that's the that's the basic, okay. But you re still need some or a little bit of background on HTML. This is programming, a little bit of programming also uh, to develop a, a web, web page, sorry. Then you have vi video editing. We have uh, uh, in Windows 10, if you install it, you have photos. Okay, that's one. You can edit it already, but there are a lot of uh, video editing software. Of course, there are web-based video editing software. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure you're, you're very much familiar than me on what are those programs. Um, but the, the uh, what they call this, the applications or the ones we use is Adobe Premiere. Uh, of course, Photos for basic uh, editing. I go for Photos. That's it. It's just if you want to just edit, uh, when you say edit, just uh, crop uh, videos. Not crop. Sorry. Um, uh, cut, cut some portions and so on and so forth, um, or put some text on a video. Uh, then you use then you use Photos. That's a simple software you don't have to really learn that but if you use the other software the adobe premiere and a lot more is will take you some trainings to be able to uh, use that program okay then presentation or point okay what is what are web apps let's proceed where these are the, the softwares that we discuss are the functions and what are the examples okay so right now we're just going to discuss what is web app i already told you in the introduction uh and also last meeting it runs on the world wide web do not run directly on a device our platform independent meaning uh there's no problem if you're using 
uh, Apple or iOS or in Windows or you're using Google or whatever or Chrome or oh, what are you, not Chrome uh, Android sorry sometimes referred to as software as a service please try to remember this SaaS S A A S software as a service web apps software as a service store files in the cloud are accessed through cloud accounts okay example google drive doc sheets slides so that means when you go to google you have an account let's try i will try to show you uh let's end the sharing and show my screen now okay basically you have google so when you have here gmail you can see i have an account i'm automatically uh signed in with google okay so when you click this these are the different applications that i can use in google app i can open gmail youtube uh, maps and so on okay so these are application that you need the web browser and it's available on a world wide web whatever applications or whatever information that I can get or that I need to store is on Google Drive or cloud. Okay, so whatever it is in here. So I will not open anything. I don't want you to see whatever is happening on my account, my Google account. Okay, that, that is, that, that's an example. When I, you open Google Chrome, I have a Google account. Okay, so if I open a YouTube, I have also a YouTube account. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's go there. So I'll end the sharing first. Okay, uh, I need to, you know, go to the YouTube first because I don't want you to see the history of my YouTube watching whatever I watched the latest. Okay, let's go YouTube channel. Uh, go to my channel. Where was that? Hmm. Where's my channel? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, I didn't muted myself. Just give me a minute, huh? uh, two minutes. Okay, I'm back. So going back to what I was discussing, uh, let's go here. Okay, this is my YouTube channel. So just look for ORVS. This is not my last name. This is my second name, the name, the last name of my mother. Okay, so when in, in our country, your full name is your first names or first two names or if you have three names that was given to you okay uh, and like here you're given one 
one name, one first name, and then you're gonna get the father's name as your second name and so on, your grandfather and then your tribe name. So, but in the Philippines, we get the second name as, not second name, but we call it middle name from our mother's last name. Okay, and then um, if you saw my complete name, that my last name is Esta Lilia. Uh, Spanish, Spanish last name or Spanish names, Diaz and Estadilla because we were conquered by Spain, you know, almost 400 years ago. Okay, so that's the history of the Philippines. Going back, this, this is my YouTube channel. I think uh, you have seen, uh, uh, no, no, that, that wasn't from my channel, from the Geotech channel. Uh, Geotech. Yeah, uh, I think some of you saw this. Uh, yes, we have, Mister. I remember <laughs> it. Okay, so I was the one because I'm in charge for the placement. Anyway, going back to my YouTube channel. So probably by uh, uh, at the end of this term, I, I, will, I will upload uh, the videos on Moodle and our videos, I mean our meetings here and on my YouTube channel uh, so that everybody can access it. I mean, because some sometimes when students are away, uh, maybe they are having some family gathering. They want to study there for one hour, you know. Uh, it's difficult to go to Moodle again. It's faster if you are on just YouTube and then type my Mr. Orban's channel and then watch it there. So it's the same load. You're going to watch a video or stream a video. So that's it. Some, sometimes, uh, I mean, I learned that uh, students have a easier way to access YouTube than going to this and logging in and looking for the video and so on. So that's why I, I, I will uh, upload it to the YouTube channel. Okay, so but this is an example of a Google application and a web application. So uh, streaming, uh, video streaming applications or a site or website. So that's it. Let's proceed. I will end that discussion. Okay, let's go back here. Local apps, I already uh, mentioned that, those that are installed on your device, whatever device, mobile phone, laptop, desktop, and so on. Okay, where are you going to get the applications if you are using mobile phone, of course, uh, from here, different platform, different stores. Okay, I think uh, this is self explanatory self-explanatory everybody can do this whatever device i give a student or your age generation for sure you can use it you can do whatever you want so i will not linger on this okay some of the other uh, applications Pro productivity or communication apps web-based of course skype uh, Google, uh, not Google, sorry, web, uh, Microsoft Online, Word Online, something like this. I forgot the term. What is this? Okay, uh, content apps, when you download this on your mobile app, so example only, uh, content apps. When you say content apps like news, newspaper and so on, or a channel, for example, uh, like for example, us in the Philippines, we have, um, uh, we can download an application which links to our favorite channel. When you say channel, a station, a, a TV station, it goes directly there, the, whatever shows they have and so on and so forth. Uh, creativity apps on your Mobile phone, I'm not sure what are this. I'm not creative enough to know these things, okay? Uh, social media apps, 
very common. Mostly in Oman are in Instagram. I know that. Okay, most of the students are in Instagram. Uh, there are two apps that mostly wide, uh, widely used in Oman, Instagram, uh, social media, before the Snapchat boom. I mean, like how many years ago? Four or five years ago, Snapchat boom. But after that, it uh, slowed down. But Instagram is still there. Uh, I'm not sure about Facebook, but in the Philippines, it's Facebook that is uh, mostly or widely used uh, social media apps. And then WhatsApp, of course. Here it's WhatsApp uh, in, in the Philippines, Facebook Messenger. Uh, Twitter, I think this is more on widely used in the U.S., of course. Celebrities, uh, you know sports uh, celebrities and so on i think even 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 in europe uh twitter is much popular okay audio apps spotify okay and then video apps video apps we already uh covered one the youtube and some of this maybe you know some of this maybe not Okay, Netflix, uh, by the way, that was, this is the, I mean, hot cake or the one that, that sold very, very fast or widely used during the pandemic, Netflix. A lot, <laughs> there was, uh, you know, you remember the Omantel was asking us uh, not to use this uh, software during this time because of emergency and so on and so forth. But I know nobody followed. Okay, everybody was sitting in their house. So what can we do? We just watch. Okay, we already finished all that is there on Netflix. Of course, you will not finish it. There are a lot of uh, uh, movies and series there. It's just that maybe you're not searching or you're not you're not trying some of the movies. But you will see that you will be bored because you already watched those contents. Anyway. Searching the app store, open the app. Uh, there are questions in the exam, but we'll ask you about this, um, how to search an application uh, on your mobile device using, for example, app store. Uh, what's the app store for Android? Where's the Android? Play Store, Google Play, okay, Play Store, whatever, okay, anyway, you know that, okay, the thing that you need to know are these things, how to do these things, for example, first question, uh, yes, how do you search for the application, or he will ask you, uh, search an application or search this application, he will give you a name, uh, and then like, a simulation phone with an open app store already or uh, play store it is already open you just need to search so you what you do is to go to the text box or search box and then type the application store and that's it click store and it will be there and if the question says uh, search okay uh, try to remember this in any exam, simulation exam or application exam. When you say application or practical, you do the verb, whatever verb is on the question. Search. When you say when it says search and you did the search, done. Or in a software, when you click on this text box and there's still a box which says search or go or OK. You click that. That's the execution of what the verb is. Okay, so you have to remember that uh, tip that I'm giving you. If it is a practical type of question, whatever the verb is, that's what you're going to do. Do not think of anything else. Okay, so the problem with the students sometimes, especially on your level, uh, why I'm saying on your level because you're on the A1 
English level. So uh, in, in, in A1 English level, we are expecting more uh, because you are a little bit advanced already with this type. Uh, because in the examinations, our uh, observation and statistics here, the lower level English have the difficulty to pass the exam. Why? Because the exam is in English and the construction of the questions is the problem. Okay? I mean, not the problem, their problem, because they're not yet there in that level to comprehend the question. Okay? To understand the question. Uh, so, anyway, let's go back. I was saying a, a practical type of question just do the verb okay so i'm sorry i'm i'm uh it's the first time again that i teach i ic3 or it um why am i apologizing because i think i'm keep on repeating and repeating i think you're already bored so let's see sorry okay another type of question obtaining an app what do you mean by obtaining an app downloading it or how do you get a uh what they call this the app on your device mobile phone or your laptop or desktop of course install okay find the app uh, open the detail page and install this is for mobile devices but for desktop also or laptop uh, or desktop software type of software you have to install uh, again, I'm not sure if I had, uh, told you about this last uh, last meeting or even during the orientation. Um, you have an Office 365 account, okay, from Geotech. You remember I asked you to go to office.com and log in with your uh, student Geotech student email, okay. So once you're in, uh, we have web type or web-based application there, okay? So your OneDrive is there, your Microsoft Teams also is there, uh, and then you have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. All this software can be downloaded on your desktop or your laptop, and you have that account for free. Not free, I mean it's a package since you are part now of Geotech, okay? I hope you can use it and utilize those activation okay from geotech okay in-app purchases purchases made from within a mobile app uh, this is very uh, also self-explanatory entire purchasing process is completed from within the app process can be automatic if payment information is up to date so we now uh, since the pandemic we all learned this i'm not sure on your age but for us on professionals uh, already working uh, before I am not I was not trusting or I didn't trust all these payment apps and so on and so forth so but during the pandemic there's no other way you have to use it okay you just need to be very 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 extra careful okay with your transactions okay so that ends our discussion for uh, local apps in app purchases. Am I finished? No, 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 sorry. <laughs> I thought this is already here. Uh, to delete an app on Android. Sorry, deleting. We're talking about deleting an app or uninstalling. Why? Because once something happened on your applications, it's not working properly. Maybe the when you update the iOS, your software, I oh, sorry, I muted it accidentally. Okay, uh, when you upload, uh, when you your your application is not working, you try to update your iOS, your software itself, or a newer version. Then that application didn't work. What do you need to do? Uninstall the software, particular software, for example, uh, WhatsApp Messenger. Okay, so. It's not working properly. So you uninstall and you install again. Okay, you can do that uh, in Android. You delete the app. 
Okay, and then do this. Okay, open the Google Play app, Play Store app, touch the menu icon, then tap My Apps and Games on the Install tab. Touch any app link built install to open the option. Tap uninstall to remove it and confirm the deletion if prompted. Uh, this one was, uh, I'm not sure if this is or, uh, still updated in Google or Android iOS. So, but you can verify this. I'm sure that the exam is updated. Okay, so just my lecture on this. I'm not sure if you need to still go to Google Play Store or you just need to just do whatever you're doing same as in uh, ios uh, press or uh, hold the application icon or apps there on your mobile phone for a long time and then click x it will be uninstalled okay so like this this is one two three four okay recover an app uh, when you recover, you say uh, you delete first and then you install it again, okay? For an iOS, open the App Store, tap Updates, tap Purchase, not on this phone. Uh, find the app that you want to recover on the cloud icon to reinstall it, okay? So anyway, uh, the easiest way, delete the application or uninstall it, then install it again, okay? Uh, I mean, it's mostly used. That's the way how to recover an application. Okay, summary. It's just our objectives before. Okay, some review questions. Let's see, how we'll make it uh, interactive. Uh, okay. Which type of program is designed to be used on touch screen devices such as a tablet? Anybody? Uh, yes, can I answer? <laughs> okay, so of course. Uh, okay, how will we make it uh, organized? There is a raising of hand, yes, of course. Raise your hand. Okay, the first one who will raise their hand will be shown on my screen. Okay, and I will call her or him. Okay, go. Question number two. What is a productivity program dedicated to A, producing information? B, keeping track of files or folders. C, recording the amount of time you spend online. D, tracking times, items you search for. What well, is a productivity program dedicated to? I told you about the different programs and one is productivity program. What is the main function? That's what the question is. Mazen? To produce information. information. Mm, no. Next. How will I see the, the ones? Let me minimize, maybe. Oh, okay. Oh, who else? Ahmed? Um, Microsoft Word? No, number two, the question, what is a productivity program dedicated to? If you want, we can go back to that. Uh, do I have a productivity program here? Yeah, okay. Productivity or communication apps. These are the example. What are these? I said Microsoft Word. No, no, I'm not. The question is not about what are the softwares for productivity. The question is what does it do? What's the main function of this? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. 
let's see is there anybody who's raising their hand uh, i saw a bra uh, did you raise your head a bra anybody raise your hand Abrar, but I saw your uh, hand already. Yes, I yeah, want to answer. Yeah, please. Can I, can I show this? Sure, sure. You want to answer or uh, you want to see the question? Yes. Okay. Maybe recording the amount of time you spent online. Because that's uh, what with my productivity programs. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so the uh, it's product. When you say productivity, it's more on. Uh, I think on this. Sorry, I lost the word. Uh, when you say productivity, is more on how much work you did on a particular time. Okay, so not producing information, but recording the amount of time spent on that. Productivity means, um, uh, yes, how much work did you do in a particular time? So it it is related on time or it's computed in a particular time. Okay, so let's go to number three. Okay, number three. Sorry, uh, my screen is... <laughs> I think Adam raised first his hand. Is what do some software? users refer to web apps as? Uh, software as a service. Yes, very good. That's the first uh, topic we have. Thank you. Uh, okay, how do I do this? It's difficult for me. I'll, I'll remove the sharing first. I'll just share the PowerPoint. I think it's better. Ah, I need another laptop. Okay. Just give me a minute, ah. Huh? We'll go to the other questions. I need to bring another monitor. I think it's better. Okay, I'm just uh, turning on my other laptop here at uh, the university, so just wait for me. And... Okay, while doing that, let's proceed. I think we don't need to wait. Next, which term properly describes a web app that will run in a browser or any computing device regardless of the operating system being used? As in? Platform independent. Very good. Okay, next question. What is A digital platform of the for distributing software code. Platform means software also. And Alriami. Uh, is it um, so the uh, App Store? Yes, the App Store. So the App Store is a generic term for all these uh, stores. I mean, uh, platform distributing software code. Okay, so App Store, of course, is from Apple or iOS 
Uh, so, but it is being used in IT world as a generic term for this this kind of platform. Okay. So number six, what do you need to have before you can use the Facebook app, Khadija? A Facebook account. Uh, no, Google account. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Uh, actually, the question is, of course, it's going to be related. I mean, the answer is going, the, the, uh, the choices has something to do with this because there are no other choices. So of course, Facebook account. But how do you have an account in every social media? Of course, you have to have a what are needed. I will not. Uh, uh, this is not on the choices. What is really the first thing that you need when we're talking about account? Okay, I think we are talking about the account. Of course, you can have a Facebook account, but what is needed? Yes, uh, from here I saw Ahmed first, Alriami again. Yeah, an email or a Google yes. account? Yes, an email account first. An email account is very, very important in all these social media web applications that we have. Not only social media, but any web application. Okay, so. Uh, the question is correct, Miss. Uh, who answered earlier? I forgot. Do you remember who answered earlier? That Facebook account? Because you're lower down. Is it Khadija? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, number seven. I'm having an issue on my other laptop. It cannot. Number seven. Thank you again. You saw um, that is it B? Oh, Skype? Yes, is, Skype. Um, let's see. I'm not sure actually. <laughs> Productivity apps, where are this? Yes. Very good. Okay, number eight. What are you seeing right now? My screen or Osama? Yes, Mr. Osama. Osama? I think it's a uh, contact for the discussion. Sorry? Uh, we are talking about the discussion, right? Yeah, number eight. Uh, I think it's the content. Okay, what kind of app, group, news, and information presenting them on the device when you launch the app? Yes, content. Number nine. Good. Number nine, what type Let's see, creativity. of creativity? Yes, the smart tools app. Yes. C. C. Yeah. Martus, the one with the pen. Let me check that. Is this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I forgot. Okay. Okay. Let's proceed. How many more? Uh, okay. More slides. Number 10. Which program best represents? Uh, Ah, represents what you can do on the social media or social networking side. Rana? I see Instagram. Okay. Number 11. Ahmed, yes, 11. Um, is it uh, streaming? I hope so, because it's instantly. Okay. What is it called when your device receives a constant flow of data from a source location and then place the file instantly? Correct. Correct, Ahmed. It's streaming. Okay, so live. 
live play of data. Number 12. Said. Said Al-Hansuri. Yes. A, A. Read. Can you read first? Which, which of the following apps can stream video to your device? Ah, Hulu, yes. One of the example. If we're talking about video streaming, Hulu. Spotify is audio. iTunes is audio also. Facebook can do that both, but that's not the purpose of this Facebook. Okay, can do video streaming, yes. They can do audio streaming, yes, but that's not the first purpose of Facebook. So let's uh, try the last three questions. <laughs> so my laptop didn't work. Uh, number 13. Hilal Al Jabri. Hey, installed. Of course. Okay. Number 14. How can you access special content or unlock certain features in an app? As in Al Bahari. Make an app purchases. Yes, an in app purchase. Okay, so you can do that. You don't have to go to the app store. When you install, uh, of course, it will ask you for, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then later on, he will ask you to pay. That's it. You can skip that. You can say trial first. And then after some time, uh, mostly of the apps when you download and if it is in a trial or free version you can just use one or two features and then that's it okay now number 15 last read and answer Dur, is it you uh, yes the app is not complete first can you read oh uh, Lucy wants to put the Hope D Doe app on her BlackBerry, but she cannot find it in the BlackBerry World App Store. What is the most likely reason for this? Okay. So it's C. C. So what are your choices? Lucy has not finished paying for the BlackBerry Fold. No, uh, the app is not. Does not have a Hope D Doe account? Uh, BlackBerry operating system. Okay. Uh, is there anything that you want to add about this question? Maybe you have an idea what's happening on this question. Um, that. Are you familiar with the Hope They Do account? The Hope They Do app? No, not really. <laughs> okay, maybe you were like. How, how old are you all? And you were all 12 years old, maybe. When this came. Okay, and the last thing that I want to tell you about this question is that there are no Blackberry anymore. <laughs> okay, they closed down. I was teaching IT that time, and then I remember I told my student, Blackberry closed just that day. Okay, and I told my student. Because I was discussing this and then uh, there's a news, BlackBerry just closed down. Uh, they didn't have the chance to compete with, uh, of course, iOS phones, iPhones, uh, and Android. Okay, so those are just the two who are competing in that uh, time. But right now, there are lots, a lot of uh, phones. Uh, I think Huawei is making his uh, way, but uh, when they were starting, I didn't like Huawei. I mean, I tried once and I was not satisfied. So I, I bought iPhone. It's really iPhone right? for me. I'm not sure about the Android users. I also tried Android. I also wasn't satisfied. So I switched to iPhone and I started with the 7. So that's just recent, maybe three years ago. 
so I'm still satisfied. Anyway, it's uh, your decision, whatever phone you will use. Yes, Dur, you have a question? No, okay. I forgot no. to. Okay, so that ends our presentation. Remember, if I give you a presentation, all this will be uploaded on a location. Right now, uh, I think we're going to go for the Moodle. Uh, I'm leaning on going to the Moodle so that the videos when recorded, because they are requiring us to record the video, student uh, can access the video anytime. So what my plan right now, I'm leaning on using the Moodle in our uh, classes, big blue button. So after the Moodle is being set up, we will send you an email. We will meet at big blue button, Moodle, go to your Moodle and access that. Because why? The recording there is easy. Uh, automatically, a session is recorded. Uh, it will be there. Okay, so what I just need to do is to download the video and then upload that to my YouTube channel so that I don't have to ask the students go to Moodle and watch the video. So anytime they can go to YouTube and watch the recordings. Okay, so uh, I'm leaning on using Moodle. So for now, uh, we're still using Microsoft Teams unless I said otherwise. Okay, so just we will stay with Microsoft Teams. Okay, and even if you, for example, even if we shift to Moodle, this Microsoft Teams will still be here. Okay, why? Because, I mean the Teams, uh, the Teams, not the meetings. The meetings are the video meetings, okay, the, the where we do the online classes where we upload the files, where we can get all the files. OK, so what I'm saying is that once I tell I, I told you through the email that we are now officially at Geotech Moodle, so all our files that I will give you or I will uh, provide you will be there. OK, but the Microsoft Teams will be here because you can still use the uh, calendar of this okay or the calendar and maybe I will still ask you to have uh, uh, for example a collaboration or some works that we have to do using Microsoft Teams so let's keep the Microsoft Teams up as a team and we can still communicate here I'm always using Microsoft Teams uh, here in at Geotech so you can also send me a message uh, that's one thing about Moodle. I don't use the messaging system there. I mean, there are students who are sending message there like one or two, but I don't read that. So it's not going to be useful if you use the messaging. It's just going to be for the files, our recordings and so on. OK, right now it's 9.19. I'm going to download the attendance and see. Or I think it's better before we end the discussion, OK? Uh, so we are going to do the first exercise, OK? I'm going to give you time to finish this exercise today. One minute, huh? I'm going to search what did I do last time. It's been a while. Okay, first this. Okay, and then this. Okay. Okay, I'm just preparing your exercise.
Okay, uh, so I told you to uh, prepare for a laptop. I think I will send you first through email. What are the, or should I get it? Through email first. I will send you through email. the two exercises that I will ask you to do. Sang on there, I'm opening some files. This is section. Where's section three, right? Yeah, section three. Okay. So where are we? Three. Okay. And I ask if Zuhur is here. Zuhur. Zuhur, are you here? No, no. I think uh, I need to remove her from the list. So I'm going to send you an email. And these are your exercises. Desktop, ITIC3, this five exercises, one. Bam. Okay, so you're going to receive your exercises now on your email. So I told you to use a laptop. And let me know once you receive it. Raise your hands if you receive those laptops, I laptop, sorry. the exercises, the two exercises from your Geotech email outlook. you to raise your hand huh? all of you everybody want to raise your hand if you receive the email okay let's see who else okay Ahmed and Said I'm waiting for you maybe they're opening their laptop Okay, do not uh, remove your hands. I'm waiting for Ahmed and Said. Okay, so it's there, right? Let's go there. Okay, thank you very much. You can lower down your hands now. Uh, let's share my screen. Okay, so this is our exercise number one. So these are instructions. This is not what you're going to do. This is as instructed. So you're going to open Microsoft Word, name it as WEX1 with your name and ID, dash your name. So your name is your first name and last name. First name, uh, Orban Estalilia. Abrar al Barwani. Correct? Okay, so I'll just show you. This is your name, okay? 
Shahad al Labsi, Said al Humayd, Shri, and so on and so forth. Okay? So use that as your name and then dash your student ID. I think you'll see it from your file. So anyway, uh, open the file, it's in PDF. So this our instruction. I need you to follow the instructions very, very carefully from now on, okay? I will not discuss Microsoft Word with you. We're going to go directly with the exercises. So I'll give you how many minutes? Go ahead, like uh, you can start now. 9.26, we can end uh, this after 15 minutes. Okay? So at around 9.40, 9.45, I expect you to finish the exercises. I think this is very easy to you. If you have a question, raise your hand. Eh? I'm just here. I'm not going anywhere.
Okay, I'm going to check. Uh, I'm going to download the attendance now. Huh?
Rana? Uh, yes, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Tell me, question. Number eight. Number eight. Yeah, yeah. Give me a minute, I'll share the screen. Okay, tell me. Uh, uh, replicating replicate means as is so, so you, you finish this right and then just next line or next two lines after this you have to replicate whatever is in here okay yeah clear yes uh, uh for the next question also yeah same here you okay. have to type this and make all this formatting that is needed, including this uh, box. Okay. Okay, then there's an additional instruction for this. Okay, font size 15, font space is Calibri. And then using the blue colored highlighter pen. Highlight okay. the word Arabian Pen Peninsula, which is this one. Here. And save and upload it on your shed. Oh, no, 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 do not do anything yet about the saving and the sharing. I just need you to save it on your desktop first. Okay, so we will discuss this later on. Okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll give you five minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Not really to finish, but I will start again. Uh, uh, talking to you at 9.45, okay? But do whatever you can finish right now. Sorry, Khadija, you have a question? Um, yes, sir, for number eight. Yeah. The no smoking, the two lines. It's a double strike. If you cannot oh, do it okay, right, right now, I'm going to show it to you later on. Uh, okay, you, can always you. See, you can always see from your Microsoft Word the single strike. Yeah, that's why I didn't, I didn't know how to do a double. Double strike, right? This is the single strike, strike through, sorry. Yeah, but there is a double strike and you will find it later on. If you cannot find it now, just wait for me. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Khadija? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Question? Oh, no, I, I forgot to lower my hand. Sorry. Okay, thank you.
um, sir? Yes. Yeah, I I got it. I did it. Okay. Very okay, good. Okay, thank you. So let's start again. Okay, uh, I will share my screen. Okay, so just remember, do not do anything yet. I mean, do not uh, upload it. Or let me let me change that. You upload it to your OneDrive if you want, or save it on your desktop or on a USB. As long as you save whatever works you have done. Okay. Uh, now this is exercise one. This is the ECS, of course. Uh, I need you to follow. First thing that I just want to remind you here. Uh, you write the sentence, the quick brown facts. <coughs> sorry, jump over the lazy dog. Of course, the spellings are incorrect. That's there because we're going to correct it later. That's why this is an exercise. And then copy and paste the same syntax, sentence in the next five lines. Okay, so you have the original one, which is not formatted at all. Then you will copy this in the next five lines. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so how many lines already? Six. Then you apply the following formatting sentence on the copied sentence one. Okay, so that means on the second sentence. The first sentence has no format. The second sentence has this format. The third sentence will be, that's why it says copied sentence one, copied sentence two, and so on and so forth until you reach here. Okay, then you will run spell check. That's the time it will be checked. Okay, remember to accept all the first suggestions. So when you go for a spell check, where will you get the spell check on Microsoft Word? It's either you uh, press what key? Anybody? Just tell me. What key is spell check on your keyboard? For example, X. automatic but let us okay you you will click the key f7 correct okay to spell check f7 key on, on your keyboard or go to review spelling and grammar Correct? Okay, so that's number seven. Number eight, find the word jump in the document and replace all it with the word jumps. Because the word, uh, the quick brown facts needs jumps. Okay, so in correct grammar, it needs S. So how to replace jump to jumps? Where will you do it? Home? replace on your editing section find or replace it's the same thing when you go find i oh, no, sorry 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 no no replace will be here okay so because find is just on the same window of the replace so you find jump and substitute with jumps i think this is easy replace all replace one by one or replace all okay so what else? Number eight, replicate the following. So all of this uh, is trick on this uh, font group. Okay, so double strike through is here. You highlight the word, click double strike through. 
uh, there is also superscript and subscript if you want to use this but it's already shortcutted here you can use the superscript and the subscript okay but this is i think a little bit tricky tricky sorry 32 uh, let's increase the size okay it's either you highlight this and go to the paragraph group and you have a border so if you click this one it's outside border of what the whole sentence or the whole line but how do you arrange this you go to borders and shading so because here it applies to the paragraph only uh, to, to the whole paragraph so you have to change that to text okay so that when you apply a box border it will box only the text that you highlighted okay so and where will i get that on the paragraph group border borders and shading you have to apply it to the text or the paragraph i'll apply it to the text box and okay okay it's the same thing here you type this okay Okay, and then you apply whatever is formatting is needed. So make sure all of this is done. Bold and underline. Bold, 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 bold. This one is italized. Italicize, sorry. So in Microsoft Word, you're sorry. You're only concentrating on the font group. Okay, so that ends our exercise one. I gave you exercise two and be ready. I'm going to discuss that later on. So do you have to finish that? Yes, it's an assignment. Okay, so we're going to move to exercise three next meeting on Sunday. Uh, but before we move to exercise three and four, we will discuss exercise two, how to do those things so that it will be easier for you. For now, save the file as instructed here with this kind of format name, WEX1-your name, complete name, and your student ID number. Okay, student ID number, 20-0432, something like this. Okay? Uh, I have some topic earlier in my mind I forgot. I hope I remember this. Ah, sorry, sorry. I forgot. What is this? I'm getting old. Okay, it is related to microsoft word it's 9 52 maybe you have a class uh but last question last question is it okay for a last question okay my question is Ah, okay, this is now, I remember. Sorry, uh, uh, just give me a little bit, a little more time. Okay, uh, yeah, I forgot to discuss this part, okay, because maybe you are wondering what are this part, okay? This part is called the ribbon. Okay, so it's here, huh? Okay, and in this ribbon, we have three parts. Mister? Yes, I know. Uh, are you Last? sharing the screen? Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm in a hurry, it's 9.54. I'm disturbing you a lot. Okay, uh, the, uh, where, where, where's the screen? <sighs> okay, sorry. The first is this part. Okay, in any Microsoft Office application, this is called the ribbon. The ribbon. 
Okay. Now in this ribbon, we have the three three parts or three yes three parts. Also, we have the tab, which is the home tab, the file tab, the insert tab, the design tab, the layout tab, and so on and so forth. In PowerPoint, in Excel, this is also available in your browser you remember when you open another window that means a tab in the same window sorry different tabs uh, if you're seeing that in a web browser like this okay so this is a tab this is another tab okay so next in a ribbon there is there are tabs different tabs and each tab there are groups what are this group? The one you can see here. In the home tab, we have clipboard group, okay, font group, paragraph group, stats group, and so on. Okay. And lastly, each group is composed of what we call commands. As, sim as simple as that. So each of these that you're clicking right now will do a particular task. And that is called a command. So if you want to make it bold, it's a command that you're going to click. Okay, that ends this thing that I forgot to discuss before the exercise uh, so that you're going to be familiar with the terms, okay, that we are going to encounter in IC3 key applications. Okay, so with that, uh, if you have uh, missed some of the topics here again there's a recording where can you find the recording in our microsoft teams its3 let me share my screen again okay so when you go to microsoft teams our teams is here t3 no, no, ITS3, Term 1, AY2020-21. So the recordings are on that uh, conversation. So for example, here, okay? So I think, yeah, the first one, it will expire in 17 days. Once we finish this recording here, it will be shown in this meeting. Okay, so do not forget that. So with that, thank you very much. Sorry for delaying you. Rana, yes, you have a question before we end. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, do we download it on one drive? The tasks. Uh, which one, sorry? The tasks you gave us. Do you download this or upload? Is upload it on one drive. No, no, not yet. I'll give you a specific instruction next week where will you upload your exercises okay, because so right now i'm still uh, i'm still figuring it out I'm, i need to prepare the model first for the students okay so any more question i will stop recording now and i will let you go